Well, hello and welcome in. Today, we are gonna be looking at how you can use nested scenes in OBS. So I'm also going to be creating some further tutorials which are gonna talk in more depth about how you can add various filters to your stream. Things such as adding blur and color filters, lots of fun stuff like that. But if you're using multiple scenes, you're going to need to understand how to use nested scenes to get the most out of those filters. So with that said, let's get to it. So let's talk first of all, why would you need to use nested scenes? The main use that I have for nested scenes is to be able to have the ability to have my camera on multiple different scenes, but with different effects on each scene. So for example, on one scene, I want the camera to be blurred and on another scene, I don't. If you apply any kind of effects directly onto a source such as a camera, what happens is whenever you use that same camera source anywhere else, you'll find that it will also copy the filter effects across so this is a way in which we can kind of stop that from happening so we can start applying filters onto the scene rather than the source another use case for this is a simple organization so let me show you an example of what that will look like the example that i use the most for nested scenes is actually with my main camera so what i've done is i have an area down here in my scenes which is a ton of variations of the same camera but with different effects applied to them so that on my active scenes that I use for streaming, I can toggle between each of them quite easily without say a blur effect applying where it shouldn't. So the easiest way for me to explain this is probably to go ahead and show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a brand new scene down here and we'll call this main camera. So now you can see there's absolutely nothing in this scene. I want this one to be used as kind of the, the base for my main camera and that I can then potentially apply effects over the top of it later. So in here, I just want to add in my camera. I'm gonna go choose my video capture device from in here and I already have it set up. So I'm gonna choose in this case, existing and okay. And we can see that it's now pulled through just my camera there. So I can leave this as it is as my main camera. But then let me show you what this allows me to do on my other scenes. So let's come back to here, my screen share. What I can now do down at the bottom is I can add this plus and I can choose this option here, which is to basically embed an entire scene into another scene hence a nested scene. So we're gonna scroll down to this one and you can see I've got the main camera, which is the one we've just created. Go ahead and click this, pull it in. And you can see what that's done at the top is it's brought in my camera here. So I can then resize this, apply filters to it, and it isn't gonna affect my other camera. So effectively what you're doing is you're applying your filters onto the scene rather than the camera source itself. Because when you apply a filter to the camera source, it will affect every single scene that it's in unless you do it this way, of course. So let's just say I wanna have a chat with myself in this example. I'm just gonna use the shortcut by holding Alt and hovering over one of these little nubbins at the end, which allows me to crop this in. And I can do the same here and crop this one in and down again and so on. And you can see here, there's two of me, but this other camera hasn't been affected. Good, eh? So let's take that a step further. What else can we do? If we right click on here, let's try transforming. So you can see if I want to, I can flip it round. So now I really can have a conversation with myself if I point it at the other camera there. Let's see if we add some filters on there. Let's come in here, choose the plus at the bottom. For an example, let's add a blur filter, choose OK. And I'll crank that blur up a little bit and choose OK. And you can see the blur has only been applied to this camera and not the camera that's over here. That's probably the main way in which I use nested scenes, which I'm sure you can imagine when you start building on lots and lots of effects and lots of different type of filters is going to be really, really useful. And something else that you can do is actually using nested scenes as a way to kind of group and organize similar things that you're going to use regularly on lots of different scenes. So a really good example for this is everything that you need in terms of audio. So if I come back to this screen, you can see that I have my separate audio sources, but what would be really easy and much tidier is if we actually grouped all of those together, because on every single scene that I use, I'm going to want those same audio sources available to me. I'm never going to want to not have my microphone and my desktop audio and my game sound all those kind of things so what i created was an area just called audio and if i click in here you can see i have all of the things that form my audio so when i want to add audio into any of my scenes i can actually just go and select this scene and embed it in there and it will automatically contain all of these sources 
And in this case, it will reduce the number of sources that I have there from four to one. Much tidier and much easier to navigate and find your way around. So it's kind of a time saving exercise as well as just keeping things tidy. And I've experienced, like I say, the performance improvements as well from doing it this way. To give you one more example of why it is good to use nested scenes. So I have built a new camera border using just OBS pretty much. And within here, you can see already, here's our icon for the nested scenes. So I actually have two nested scenes within this scene which I'm also then going to nest into another scene it's kind of like scene inception <laughs> just bear with me so what I'm able to do is create everything in this screen as I want it I've been able to apply filters so I've got a rounded border if I toggle this one you can see I've added my information bar at the bottom there of my hood I've got date and time and all that kind of stuff all of these previously would have been individual items in my scene just as you see now but this gets quite confusing to manage within a scene when you're switching between lots of different scenes on a daily basis as I do you kind of want all of these to be grouped together so once this camera is how I like it I want it to stay that way I don't want the date accidentally getting dragged and dropped and thrown off the screen so doing it this way means that I can grab all of these things as one and embed them in an existing scene or a new scene so let's go back to our tutorial screen let's add a new source in there choose the scene option let's have a look at adding in that rounded cam choose okay and there you can see I now have this rounded cam and the best thing about this now is that look when I resize it everything goes with it to scale I'm not gonna lose my date or time or anything like that any filters I've got on there are not gonna be affected everything is all independent within here so you can actually achieve this same kind of thing by using groups in OBS but what I found is that as previously mentioned this seems to be less resource intensive than using groups I don't know if that's just something for me but since I've changed up all of my my sources and my scenes to fit more like this I've noticed a huge improvement in how my streamers run so give it a try I'd love to hear in the comments if you actually use nested scenes or if you're planning to do this going forward maybe you just do it for the audio options it would be really really interesting to hear if you're going to try it out and how you get on so I am looking at doing a number of videos in the future which are actually going to rely on the understanding of nested scenes which is why I thought it was a good one to cover today so if you want to be notified when them videos go live be sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom there and also do all those other things that I love 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 the likes the comments please chat to me down there I do like to have a chat with you and see how you're planning to use these things that I am talking about on the tutorials it would be really really great to hear from you but that is it for today have a great day whatever you're doing and I will see you in the next one